to be with you all today. So taking a seat on your mat, sitting cross-legged. If that's comfortable for you, if not, feel free to stretch one or both legs out in front of you. And closing your eyes. Beginning to deepen your breath and seeing the breath as this cycle that happens constantly in your own physiology. The inhale and the exhale. The waxing, the waning, like the moon goes through each month. Inhale, building to fullness, the exhale, releasing to empty. And honoring everything in its constant evolution. And change is certain always. And yet there are patterns and rhythms to aspects of that motion of the evolution. And those patterns and rhythms can help give us peace, reassurance, a connection that reminds us that there's a larger plan at work. A few more deep breaths here in silence, connecting with that rhythm. And then bringing your hands to press palm to palm at your heart center. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, gently open your eyes to the floor in front of you, just noticing this present moment, colors and light around you. Take an inhale here. Exhale, interlace the hands, press them away from you, rounding your spine. Inhale, arms up, heart lifts, gaze lifts. Exhale, wrist circles, float your arms out and down. Releasing your hands behind your back, rolling your shoulders. Inhale, lift, arms, heart, and gaze. Deep additional breath here. And with your exhale, releasing back down, hands to the heart. Take an inhale here. Exhale, interlace the hands, press them away from you. Rounding the spine, inhale. Arms up, heart lifts, gaze lifts. Honoring our cycles as we move through life. Our energy Blowing, interlacing the hands behind the back, rolling the shoulders. Inhale, lift arms, heart, and gaze. Deep breath here. And as you exhale, release. 
One more time like this. Inhale here. Exhale. Pressing the hands away from you, rounding the spine. Inhale, arms up, heart lifts, gaze lifts, honoring all the lifetimes we get to live. We float our arms out and down. You're lacing the hands behind the back, rolling the shoulders. Inhale, lift. And as you exhale, keep the hands engaged. Bring them over to the right side of the waist, tucking them in, dropping the shoulders down the back. Take an inhale, lift tall through the crown of the head. And exhale, dropping the right ear towards the right shoulder, getting a nice stretch through the left side of the neck, top of the left shoulder, excuse me, and then dropping the head a little forward and a little bit back, keeping the ear towards the shoulder, shoulder sliding down the back. Heart nice and lifted, moving the head gently. And when we tend to the neck, we can Focus on connecting the head with the body, something that many of us tend to disconnect. We're kind of like floating heads, <laughs> always connected to our bodies. So tending to the neck, let's pause in one place where there's a lot of sensation and take two letting go breaths, connecting head and body. <sighs> Nice. With your next inhale, bring the head back to center. Exhale, bring the arms back behind you. Inhale, lift arms, heart, and gaze. Notice the difference in your shoulders. Exhale, release hands back to the heart. Take an inhale here, lifting nice and tall. And as you exhale, bring your hands to the floor in front of you, walking out, stretching from the low back and the hips melting towards the earth. And with your next inhale, coming back up. And let's switch the cross of the legs. If they are crossed. And bringing the hands back to the heart. Take an inhale here. Exhale, interlace the hands, maybe the opposite way of what you were doing before, pressing the arms away from you. Inhale, arms up, heart lifts, gaze lifts. Exhale, wrist circles, float the arms out and down. Honoring this moment in time, interlacing the hands behind your back, rolling the shoulders. Inhale, lift the arms, heart, and gaze. Exhale here and then take another breath. And as you exhale, release hands back to the heart. Take an inhale here. Exhale, interlace the hands, press them away, rounding the spine. Inhale, arms up, heart lifts, gaze lifts. Exhale, wrist circles, float the arms out and down. Releasing the hands behind the back, rolling the shoulders. Inhale, lift. Exhale here, one more breath. And exhale, release. Hands come back to the heart. One more round. Inhale here. Exhale, interlace the hands, press them away from you. Inhale, arms up, heart lifts, gaze lifts. Exhale, wrist circles, float the arms out and down. Interlacing the hands behind the back, rolling the shoulders. Inhale, lifting the arms. And as you exhale, keep the hands engaged to bring them over to the left side of the waist, tucking them in here. Lifting the spine nice and tall, shoulders dropping down the back. Take an inhale. 
And as you exhale, drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Give you a nice stretch in the right side of the neck. And just gradually tilting the head forward and back, keeping the spine tall, shoulders moving down the back. for all the breaths that have gotten you to this point in your life and that continue to support you. This rhythm moving through your body day and night. Finding one place where there's a lot of sensation. Let's take two letting go breaths. With your next inhale, bring your head back to center. Exhale, bring the arms behind you. Inhale, lift arms, heart, to gaze. Notice your neck and shoulders. Exhale, releasing down, hands to the heart. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, drop your hands to the floor, stretching out from the low back and hips. With your next inhale, coming back up, and let's exhale, stretch the legs out in front of you, bouncing out your knees, rolling your feet around. And then we'll cross the right leg over top of the left, bringing the foot to the floor, hugging the knee in towards the chest, lifting up nice and tall here. Relaxing the left foot. And you might just stay here and breathe if this feels like a nice place to be. You've got a little stretch maybe in that right hip, maybe in the spine. If you'd like to go further, inhale, lifting the arms up. And then we're going to twist, envisioning this twist coming from your belly button and then melting the arms down. The left elbow can come to the outside of the right knee, or you can hook the knee with the elbow if you would like. And right arm coming behind you, lifting the spine nice and tall, and really feeling this twist originate in the belly button, coming from the navel, and then coming up through the spine to the shoulders, and then last the head. So we're not cranking everything from the head, we're originating it lower in the body. One more breath here. And exhale, unwind, take a little counter twist to the other side. Nice, stretching right leg out, we'll switch sides, left comes in. Relaxing the right foot, hugging the left knee and lengthening the spine up nice and tall. And again, you might want to just stay here and breathe if this feels like a good place for you to be today. If you'd like to go further, inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, twisting to the left, right elbow to the outside or hooking the left knee, lifting nice and tall. Feeling the twist come from your navel all the way up through the spine, really tuning into that full spinal twist. And the head is the last thing to look out over the shoulder. Deep breaths. One more inhale here, and then as you exhale, unwind and take a little counter twist to the other side. Nice. Stretching both legs out, 
bouncing them out again, moving the feet. From here, we'll come to hands and knees. Feel free to put your blanket underneath your knees if you'd like, or if you need support underneath your hands or your forearms, set yourself up well here. Take an inhale and exhale, rounding the spine, gazing towards the belly button. And you can also check in with the distance of your knees. You want them a little wider than hip width. So your pelvis has room to move. Inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the sit bones, lifting the gaze. Exhale, rounding back. Inhale, lifting. Two more times like this. And then coming back to a cow pose, curl the toes under and press back to a down dog, walking out your legs, bending one deeply and then the other shifting your hips. Getting into a little side stretching here. And with your next inhale, looking up past your hands, step, walk, or jump to the top of your mat. And exhale, hang in a forward fold, soft knees. With your next inhale, sweep your arms out and up, standing all the way up. Reach to the sky, palms pressed together. Exhale, hands to the heart. We're going to come into a little full moon flow practice here. So starting in Tadasana, soft knees, lifted heart. Inhale, sweeping the arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive forward, honoring all the cycles. Inhale, flat back, hands to the shins. Exhale down, place the hands, step the right foot back behind you, high or low lunge, finding your balance, inhale, lifting the arms up, exhale here, one more inhale, and then as you exhale, bring your hands down inside the left foot, and we're going to pivot around. So the legs are going to be out to a wide straddle, wide squat, and we're going to come up to center. So we're going to hold the moon around our heads, this big circle, feeling that connection of never ending shape <laughs> going round and round the cycles of our lives. We're going to take an inhale here. And as you exhale, sitting down into a squat. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, come around to the right. Keeping the head between the arms if you can. Inhale, coming back up. Stay in your squat. We're going to go back to the left. Full moon circle here. Inhale, lifting up. Keeping the arms where they are. Extending the legs, exhale, pressing down through the hands, grounding the energy down. This is good for Vata season here. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, grounding down, just pressing the hands down towards the earth. One more time. This time, squatting down as you bring the arms down. Nice. We're going to bring the hands down to the floor and come back over to the front of the mat and press back to a down dog. Walking out your dog. 
moving in any way that feels good to you. With your next inhale, let's come forward to a plank pose, holding here. Or if you'd like, you can drop your hips and float your legs into an up dog. And then engaging the core, everybody press back, down dog. Inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through top of the mat, high or low lunge. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, touch the mat. Inhale, step forward with the left foot. Exhale, hang forward, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Getting all the way up, palms pressed together. Exhale, hands to the heart. Close your eyes and take a breath. And do the other side. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, bend the knees, swan back forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale down, place the hand, step the left foot back behind you, high or low lunge, finding your balance. Inhale, lifting your arms up. Exhale here. Inhale again. And exhale, folding forward, touching the mat and bringing the hands around, walking the heels in slightly, perhaps. Finding your wide squat. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. We're gonna make that moon around our head, sitting down. And make sure the knees are tracking out over the toes, not falling in. Nice opening here, full moon expansion. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, move over to the left, coming around in a big circle, coming up to the right. And going back the other way, right. Coming up center. Inhale, lifting the legs straight and exhale, pressing energy down, grounding to the earth. Recognizing those cycles. Inhale, sweeping the arms out and up. Honoring the predictability, the stability that is provided within the uncertainty. One more time with a squat. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, pressing down. And then bringing the hands back to the floor, walking over and back to top of your mat and press back to a down dog, walking out your dog. Pulling forward to a plank pose. You're welcome to hold here or even drop your knees. If you'd like a little more challenge, dropping the hips, floating the legs, lifting the heart. Engage the core, everybody press back. Down dog, beautiful. Inhale, lift the left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through top of the mat, high or low lunge. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, touch the mat. Inhale, step forward, top of the mat. Exhale, hang forward, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up, gathering the energy of the full moon. Exhale, hands to the heart. Close your eyes, breathe and notice. Lovely, from here we'll come back down onto the mat. Coming onto our backs, hugging the knees into the chest, rocking a little side to side here. And placing the feet on the floor, pressing into the feet, 
Lifting the hips up just slightly, scooting them a couple inches over to the right, laying them back down. Extend the left leg long on the mat. Inhale, bring the right knee in, holding onto it with the left hand. And as you exhale, guide the right knee over to the left, stretching the right arm out from the shoulder and sinking into this twist. Noticing what you can relax and release here. What you can let go of, ring out of the spine, the tissues, the mental patterns. As we embrace a new cycle new lunar cycle, new day and night cycle, new breath cycle right here in this moment. Let's take two letting go breaths. Inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. Here next, inhale, unwind, come back to center, realigning the spine. And take a breath here. And then picking up the hips again, a couple inches over to the left, laying them back down. Extend the right leg long on the mat. Inhale, bringing the left knee in, holding onto it with the right hand. And exhale, guide. The knee over to the right, stretching the left arm out from the shoulder. Releasing tension, holding old stories that no longer serve you. Recognizing all the people you get to be in one lifetime. All the roles you get to play. And all the gifts you've been given by those who have come before you. And allow the cycles to continue. And let's take two letting go breaths. Inhale, unwind, come back to center, realigning the spine. And hug your knees into your chest. And let your knees come away from each other, reach through the inside of the knees, grab onto the outside of the feet or the ankles for happy baby pose. We're rocking a little side to side here if you'd like. If there's any final poses you'd like to find before coming to Shavasana, feel free. Otherwise, stretching out long on your back, perhaps a blanket under your head or your knees. And finding a space to rest in the peace of the ebb and the flow of life breath, the sun and the moon, all the expressions of your life force that come and go throughout your lifetime. Letting go of any effort, physical, mental, emotional. Allowing yourself to simply be for just a moment of time.
begin to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and toes. And as you're ready, bend one knee and then the other, placing your feet on the floor. And come to rest over on your right side. Taking a breath here and keeping your eyes closed and your attention internal. Allow these words by Alberto Rio to wash over you. This is a poem called A House Called Tomorrow. You are not 15 or 12 or 17. You are a hundred wild centuries and 15 bringing with you in every breath, in every step, everyone who has come before you, all the yous that you have been, the mothers of your mother, the fathers of your father. If someone in your family tree was trouble, a hundred were not. The bad do not win. Not finally, no matter how loud they are, we simply would not be here if that were so. You are made fundamentally from the good. With this knowledge, you never march alone. You are the breaking news of the century. You are the good who has come forward through it all even if so many days felt otherwise. But think, when you as a child learned to speak, it's not that you didn't know words, it's that from the centuries you knew so many, and it's hard to choose the words that will be your own. From those centuries, we human beings bring with us the simple solutions and songs, the river bridges and star charts and song harmonies, all in service to a simple idea that we can make a house called tomorrow. What we bring finally into the new day every day is ourselves. And that's all we need to start. That's all we require to keep going. Look back only for as long as you must. Then go forward into the history you will make. Be good, then better. Write books, cure disease, Make us proud, make yourself proud. And those who came before you, when you hear thunder, hear it as their applause. Bringing your hands together in front of your heart, pressing your thumbs in to feel your heartbeat, your personal pulse. Feeling this rhythm of your heart, feeling the rhythm of your breath. Rhythms that are alive in nature, echoing within you, giving you a structure to count on. Taking a deep breath of gratitude, sending that gratitude from your heart out to all the cells in your being. I thank you all for joining me for practice today. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste.